overall performance of that? Well, I thought there were some really stretches in there where I thought defensively we did some things that were really good again. I hadn't seen the final stats, but I thought we did some things there that were really good. And then a couple big plays. It's the, you know, we're playing good in situations, and then all of a sudden we give up a big play, a long pass, or something crazy happens. You know, I mean, that's, that's just what I keep saying right now in this little losing streak we're in right now. It's just we're doing just enough to get beat, not enough to win. Turnovers again tonight. Yeah, the turnover hurt, the block punt hurt. You know, we've been playing well and we kind of controlled the wind a little bit. We got ourselves in a situation, then we get the block punt, which we thought we had a plan for that, and it just, we didn't execute it really well. So that hurt us because it gave them a short field. You know, and that's what's hurting our defense right now. They're playing really good in stretches, and then they're getting the short field, you know, and they're trying to hold them out, and then all of a sudden, you know, they're getting the touchdown, and then we didn't we didn't convert enough at times on offense to, you know, to try to stay in the fight and hold serve. You feel the momentum kind of left when Aldridge got knocked out? A little bit, but then, golly. The pay point, play. Is it pay? Yeah, Devon Pay goes in there and lumps over the, jumps over the you know, line of scrimmage and gets in the end zone. I mean, I thought he did really good. I mean, he had some really good plays. I thought he showed some flashes. And so there was a lot there that was good, too, in that standpoint. But we're just, we're not even more consistent. And we're not consistent right now. And until we get consistent and we start getting guys and coaches and players all to do the same thing at the same time, we're going to be in the same boat. And that's, and we we got guys making mistakes and stuff that, that we don't do on Tuesday and Wednesday, and we're doing it on Saturday night. And we got to find a way to fix that. You did a great job on your penalties. You know, uh, yeah. The third downs, though. <laughs> Oh, yeah. penalties were great. And yeah, third, yeah, do third downs, I mean, third downs hurt us, and we did some things there that weren't really good. What would you tell the team after the game? I told the team that this is the toughest point that they've probably, especially some of our upperclassmen, our seniors that have been around here, you know, for three or four years, when we've been real successful, that we're going to start taking some bullets and we're going to kind of galvanize and get tight together and hold the ground. And we can't, we can't flinch at the situation. we got to hold the ground and not... You know, and get tighter. I mean, trust what we're teaching them and trust how we're coaching, but get together and not let any outside thing or, you know, just lose your mind at any point in time in this deal. You focus now. I mean, you're still playing football left. You get those wins at Kingsville. You get that win at Easter. I mean, this, there's a top four shot still there. We've got four games to play. Yeah. And the way they, I don't know how the scores are, but we've got a lot of football. And so you get yourself. Yeah, okay, I understand you're going to play a spoiler right now, but if we get the fourth seed and we get to play some of these people that have beaten us again, I, I'm, I'm okay with that. Let's play them again. But let's get ourselves in that winner's bracket, see what happens. And You know, you might not make an NCAA tournament bid right now at this point in time, but you could be a spoiler and you could cause some problems, and why not do it? Why not just get, get back to work and just try to do what we got to do? Thanks, Coach.